Getting your team properly onboarded onto your system is just as important as setting up your system correctly. In this video, we'll go through the five steps to getting your team on board with your new workflow in Airtable. Without tight collaboration between all of your stakeholders, you won't be able to achieve the goal you outlined in the first step of this guide. Think back to your workflow's goal, context, and success measure that you mapped out in step one. From there, pull up the stakeholder mapping you created to organize stakeholders into collaborate, overview, or input according to the role they play in your workflow. And let's explain how each can be set up for success in your base. Those deeply involved in your workflow, your collaborators, don't all have the same informational needs. It's important that each of your collaborators has the right permission level for their role in the workflow. When inviting someone to your new system, you can select from four permission levels. The creator level is for collaborators you expect to build the base alongside you. They can add tables, create fields, and add or update any record. The editor level is for collaborators who need to update information, but not configure your base. They can add or edit records, create views, but not configure tables. Commenter and read-only permission are for collaborators who need to see the information It may either need to comment on or view information, but not add or edit anything in your base. Take a moment to identify which level of permission is right for each of your collaborators, but don't invite them just yet. Your system needs more context for proper onboarding. Your stakeholders are learning a new tool and a new way to orchestrate their work. As such, it's important you provide them as much context as possible to ease their onboarding. To make it simpler for your collaborators to orient themselves in their new system, create relevant views with detailed descriptions ahead of inviting them. If you're a web agency, you might create an all projects view for your project managers and a calendar view of upcoming deadlines for designers. To further help guide your collaborators, you can also add a base description which will appear when your collaborators first enter the base. Some of these views may also provide the relevant information for an overview stakeholder to see how things are going. You can share any view that you create through a view share link. Now overview stakeholders visiting that URL can see how things are going without creating their own Airtable account. To get your base ready for collaboration, create the views you expect your collaborators will need and create share links where the information in the view is relevant to overview stakeholders. In addition to keeping information up to date, it's important that workflows get the right inputs. For example, external teams submitting requests or clients giving you feedback on how to improve. For these input stakeholders, you can create forms directly in Airtable. Customize it to only show the fields you want the submitter to fill out, adjust the look and feel, and you've got a form that submits directly to your table. Every form comes with a unique URL you can share with your stakeholders for easy input. Now create the forms necessary for your workflow.
your base is now set up for collaboration. You know the permission level required for each collaborator. You've created descriptive views for your collaborators and overview stakeholders. And you've got the forms ready for your input stakeholders. The last step is to get everyone on board by inviting them into the base. Show them around the base, assign them to a project, or show them a view grouped by their work so they can understand the value of Airtable. Great work. You've taken the steps to orchestrating your work in one place. You've understood your workflow, created a system that matches that understanding, and onboarded your team onto this new workflow. However, this isn't the end of your Airtable learning journey. Check out Airtable.com slash learn for additional Airtable resources for yourself or to help your stakeholders understand their new system.